Joining us now is Don Villar, the Secretary and Treasurer of the Chicago Federation of Labor. Don, good to see you again. Uh, everyone obviously wants more money, but many businesses have been hurt by the pandemic. Are you concerned uh, the minimum wage hike may lead to job cuts? You know, no, Ben, uh, we have found that whenever the minimum wage has gone up, despite the arguments from uh, uh, opponents to minimum wage, it's been the opposite. I mean, it hasn't really had any impact on uh, on job cuts, per se. So, I mean, we're confident that, uh, I mean, you know, the minimum wage will not lead to any uh, job cuts that we see right now. I mean, we're already dealing with that uh, because of COVID-19, but this should ha not have any impact on, on future jobs. In the meantime, these businesses are going to have to figure out a way to get these dollars, right, to pay the extra uh, minimum wage. How do they then transfer the cost? Meaning, are the consumers, are you expecting the consumers then to see uh, a hike when they pay for goods? You know, that's up for the businesses to decide, and they're, the, they're running their businesses. Uh, they're, I mean, they're in charge, and they're, they're managers, and uh, they should, that's something they should be, uh, they should be, uh, that's their responsibility. And for the most part, I mean, uh, businesses need to take into consideration the, the challenges and, and the struggles of, of their workers, the, the people who, who produce this goods and services that, that, make, them, uh, that make them successful. So uh, I think the argument that, uh, you know, that this that businesses that uh, should bear or that the workers should bear the brunt mm -hmm. of this it just doesn't just doesn't uh, ring true. And what are you telling employees about making sure they are, in fact, getting the proper amount? Because it is different depending on where you work in Illinois. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, naturally, you're absolutely right. Uh, Downstate, I mean, here in the city of Chicago, for most workers, most most employers, the minimum wage is going up to fourteen dollars an hour. And in, uh, in Cook County, uh, most most municipalities will see a raise up to thirteen dollars an hour. And the rest of the state, downstate, they're making eight twenty-five an hour. They'll they'll be going up to ten dollars an hour. So the words we're spreading the word out. I think uh, when it comes to uh, uh, you know. The various groups that that advocate on behalf of working workers. I mean, they're out there uh, spreading the word that the minimum wage is going up. Okay, and just to piggyback off of this, how do you see uh, there being any stumbling blocks, or do you see there being any stumbling blocks as these businesses try to implement this at this point? What do you think will happen here in the coming days? You know, uh, this we've had minimum wage increases in the past, uh, and you know, businesses have uh, done done. You know, pass the wage, uh, pass the, the raises along. So we don't see any stumbling blocks for businesses per se. I think at the end of the day, I mean, they, they, we've seen the raise go up uh, per capita raise increases, uh, or I mean, the consumer CPI increases uh, in the past year. And uh, it's something that all businesses, I mean, when we get to this point around July, they hem and haw, but at the end of the day, I mean, mm -hmm. the, uh, the implementation has been, um, has been seamless for the most part. And Don, this hike is part of a larger plan to bring the minimum wage across all of Illinois to $15 an hour by uh, 2025, which would make it, I think, the tide for the highest in the nation. Uh, does that make Illinois less competitive, especially when our surrounding states, places like Indiana, uh, don't have a minimum wage that's that high? Uh, you know, Ben, um, before COVID-19, uh, the United Way came out with a report, and it found that one out of three households, workers in the state of Illinois, are either in poverty or just a missed paycheck away from it. And one of the reasons they cited for that was because of the minimum wage. And as far as uh, you know, where the jobs are, and I think oftentimes what we're also seeing is folks who are in Indiana or in, in uh, Wisconsin, workers there would opt for to get to work in Chicago uh, or in Illinois, where the minimum wage is, is, a, is a living wage as opposed to the minimum wages in their communities. Okay, Don Villar, thank you so much for your insight this evening. The Secretary and Treasurer of the Chicago Federation of Labor. Good evening to you. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Lourdes. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Ben. Uh, Tom Skilling's back.